here in India, the primary treatment currently which we use is artemisinin-based combination therapy. Yes, it is not RT, it is RT, okay, artemisinin-based combination therapy. We have multiple different drugs to be given in this list. The first one is artisunate with mefloquine, artisunate with amodiaquine, artisunate with sulfadoxim pyrimethamine combination, dihydro artemisinin with piperaquine, artemether with lumafantin. Don't worry, no one will be asking you what exactly, out of this, which is the combination used for uh, artemisinin-based combination therapy, they will not ask it. But they will be asking, why do we give it in combination therapy? Why can't we administer artemisinin as monotherapy? You can administer artesunate as monotherapy, no? but we don't usually administer it. The need for a combination therapy, two reasons are there. The first one is to prevent development of resistance patterns. As I told, Kelch protein resistance, to prevent the development of resistance, we have to administer it in combination with one another drug. Also, artemisinin therapies tend to have a shorter duration of action. So when you give it along with one more drug which tend to have a longer duration, the overall duration of action is going to be prolonged. Two reasons why we have designed something called as artemisinin-based combination therapy. One is to prevent the development of resistance. The other one is longer duration of action. And out of all these combinations, we have this sulfadoxim pyrimethamine, which is not effective against a plasmodium vivax. And the last one, we have Artemether lumafantrin, which is effective in northeastern parts of India. It can also be administered in other parts of India too. This is the advantages of artemisinin-based combination therapy, guys. Right? Some classical features of these points also. Now, let's talk about treatment of uncomplicated malaria. How do we proceed further? Uncomplicated malaria in India, if you catch hold of it, See, there are multiple different subtypes of uh, like plasmodium species like plasmodium vivax, plasmodium ovale, plasmodium falciparum, plasmodium malariae and one more thing, you know, most of the people will not be knowing it. That's why it is called as no lessee, right? No lessee. The multiple different subtypes are there. But be it any subtype as per pharmacology, we are classifying it into only two major subtypes. Either it is chloroquine resistant or it is chloroquine sensitive. Only two major subtypes are there as per treatment is concerned. So we have to administer chloroquine guys, that would be the treatment of choice. But if it is sensitive, we can go for it. If it is sensitive, we can administer chloroquine for three days. Or if it is resistant, if it is resistant, we have two major subtypes in treatment. Either we can go for artemisinin based combination therapy for three days or we can opt for a drug combination which includes quinine 